hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel blog series so guys now in this video we are going to learn how to edit the post and update the post okay and also we'll be seeing that how to delete this post also so guys now let's get started so first let's move to this post view where we have already created a table so now guys i'm going to add one table data over here with the a tag for edit option okay and let's design this as a button button success and here we create a url admin slash post slash one okay so here you are going to send the id so let me just concatenate the id let's copy this and paste it all done guys and now guys let us copy and paste here and tell edit perfect so now guys let's see the output refresh so let's click on this edit button and we have to create a route as per this so let's copy this path and go to web.php and create a route okay so route colon colon get method where you are going to call this admin is your prefix already given and this one is nothing but your post underscore id all set and then your controller guys okay so we have the post controller let me copy and paste and here you move to edit option okay so let's go to post controller and create a edit function so let's move to post and go below here you add a public function edit function and you are getting the id that is a post underscore id so let's get this id and now call your variable called post is equal to your post model colon colon find function so now you can pass your post id and now guys you let's return view where we have to admin dot post dot edit blade file okay so let's move to resource views admin then post and inside this post folder let's create a file with the name edit.blade.php done guys and now we need the form so we can copy the create form same control a copy and control v okay perfect and let's change the title as edit post and change your heading card header heading edit post and this will be the back button danger and you can just go to posts perfect so now guys uh, before changing this form let's see the output once okay now let's refresh undefined variable category okay why it's telling here in the form we have used the category so let me just comment for right now and we'll be seeing that why we need category okay so guys our page is viewed successfully and now let's fetch all the records inside this so let's get back and go to our post controller here we need to compact function let's copy this post variable and send here all set and now guys you can just copy this variable and go to your edit file and go to the post name and let's tell value is equal to and insert this value let's paste the variable dollar post and the database column field name okay so yep and now let's see that refresh here you get insert data into database using php mysql let me just show you the output so this data right so that data only we are getting it cool so yep guys and here coming to this part category we have to get all the category and select what category it was given while adding the post okay so first let's fetch the categories guys okay here is our category list and let's create a variable inside edit function 
okay let me pass this variable first categories and now let's create one category variable is equal to dollar category colon colon all not all we have to select only the status which is available so that means zero and use get function perfect so you are sending here and you get that variable here and loop the data so now guys let's see the output first okay refresh perfect so here we get all the list of categories and before the for each loop i want to show an option and here let's tell select category okay perfect so now you can just add one required field also like it's mandatory now refresh so you can see that guys it's telling to select category but we are editing this post right so while editing it should be already selected under which it comes okay so for that case guys you are going to use the here inside this option let me just show you add a open and close so dollar post is double equal to post of category id okay so what is this category id it's nothing but your column field let me just show you inside my post i have created one category id which we store the category id okay so that category id i'm fetching it and making sure that it matches with this category id okay copy and paste tell selected else null so let's give selected save and you can get back refresh perfect so you can see that by default it's selected to php okay cool so now guys let's fetch all this input field data okay so let me copy and paste for the slug sluj slug copy and paste this comes to the description part so let me just paste all the fields guys over here and show you the output so guys i have just finished with this here post description and white frame then meta title seo part is done over here and the status part okay so guys status is not inside the value attribute done so coming back to this description part you should not call this but we have to call it in this format why because we'll be using a p tag also in future so wherever you find your text area just replace as this format done here we go all set so let's save okay so now guys let's move below and here from save post to update post so now let's move top and change the form action url so from add post to let's make it to update post and using post method and we are going to update this data using put route and now guys you need to send the id over here so what id the post id so with this help of id you are going to update the post so let's copy this and go back to your web route so yep guys route colon colon using put method you are going to update the data here's your update post and send the post id so post id and then let's call the controller okay so let me just copy that controller from top here we go paste and go to update function so inside your update function you need to send the post id so let's go to the post controller guys done and here we begin update so we are sending the id dollar post underscore id and with this we are getting all the requests so to get directly request we can just type request of dollar request here this is the method but we have already done one form validation okay so while storing the 
data we have already done it so let's copy this form request if you don't understand what it is please watch out the previous video that is add post so we are adding the post and here we are going to update the post okay so i'm going to use this form request and then let's copy the full data because it's going to be just repeating only few changes we have to do so cool so validated data you are going to take and now instead of new post we are going to update over here so find what you are going to find the post id so let's copy this copy this post id and find the post id here you find and then you are passing all the data according to it cool so make sure all these input fields are same as your edit file okay so all this name should be same so according to it you can update the post so now guys coming back to the post save over here let's give update so this update works on the put method okay and once updated you can just go back to the successfully update updated successfully so now what in case of error so once you face like an error you should show an error right so on the edit blade file you have to paste this code to show all the errors now when you see the message so it goes to posts so we have already done this okay so you can find this code over here perfect so now guys let's uh, get back let me add this code below inside the card body not so guys now let's save and let's check the output okay refresh so now i am going to change this first to laravel 8 and using laravel let me update this post okay let me update this using laravel so let's see with this record now update post okay perfect so post updated successfully and you can see that guys category has changed to laravel 8 it was php and here post name also is changed okay let me show edit perfect so here we see all the data let me update this also okay update cool so yep let's see the output perfect all the data is updated guys so now guys let's begin with uh, deleting the post okay so let's create that delete post okay let's uh, go to our table and here let's copy this let's tell delete post okay with the id it will be fine so if you want to confirm and delete you can just add that also so right now we are going to just directly delete it let's go to the web route and create a route okay let me just copy this about get method so we are going to delete the record using get method and send the id and let's go to destroy function copy this and go to your post controller perfect public function and the function name destroy and we are getting one id that is post id with the destroy function so now guys you can just check it out like dollar post is equal to your post model colon colon let's find the post okay so dollar underscore post id so you have to just find with that id and then delete the record delete function that's it and once deleted let's return and redirect back okay so post deleted successfully so now guys let's test this okay so let me add one dummy post so let's move with php and here dummy so okay this iframe link 
let's leave it blank here we go save post post added and here is your dummy post and now guys uh, let me just show you in the database also cool so here is your dummy data let's delete this post delete and post deleted successfully let's check in your database cool so guys we have successfully done with how to edit and update the post and also delete the post so guys now let's continue in next video about how to integrate a summer note like exactly how to write the post on your website okay so we'll be integrating that part so in this video that's it guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share